Hello guys, this is Gamma. So I created a small script so that we can have some nice effects when we are using goggles or, or glasses. Um, uh, the script also adds a menu so that we can easily exchange uh, both the goggles and glasses uh, in, inside the missions. Uh, in, in any case, um, the script will assume the glasses uh, that you have configured in your profile uh, if there's any so but um, so the whole point is to uh, to shade the screen right so I decided to to use this spot here since we have the Sun and we can easily see the the Sun glare I'm going to to pick in this case a very normal shade here square shades it's my favorite both uh, formats and color so this is the raven green so I tried to to, to mimic uh, as you can see the difference of the the sun glare I'm going to show when you take it off And when you put it back, the script has a, a delay of 10 seconds to, to mimic and simulate the eye adaptation. Of course, this, this is an exaggeration since your own eyes should, should do the same. But this is just to, to bring the effect and show, show the effect in an exager exaggerated fashion. So I'm going to show again. It starts very green, very tinted and it is going to slowly fall back and it still leaves a slight greenish tint overall uh, as you can see when you take the the shades off it also brings an, an effect I'm going to do as you can see this is the complementary it, it, it gets to, to stay magenta in, in in this case I'm going to try another one for example we can pick um, for example the Vulcan as you can see the effect is uh, happens with all all the shades um, it has uh, both functionality and and some it serves functionality and some aesthetical purposes. For example, when you're, you're using the tactical glasses, it also is, you have uh, two versions. Uh, so let me get, for example, the ta is, these, these are the neutral tactical glasses. In this case, it only removes the glare. There's no tint. Uh, in case of the the other tactical shades it removes th this one is only high uh, uh, it's only darker but you also have combat goggles which give you uh, a yellowish tint I also put uh, an effect for the underwater when you're using the the diving goggles so I'm going to take first let me take away the combat goggles so this is neutral there's nothing but I want you to see the effect on the water so this is when you there's you don't have the diving goggles but when you put them on this is the initial effect and it slowly gets to to a, a more a, a less yellowish tint and let me remove to for you to see the difference as you can see it actually helps so this is there's uh, some functionality and and aesthetical stuff here uh, the other thing I've done was this so let me put for example the the combat goggles so if you you go back to the third person 
for example, the defect is removed and it falls back when you're in first person. Two. Uh, the effect stays when you're you're pointing. So when you're in your gunning pos position. And uh, I think uh, those are most functionalities of this thing. Um, I think that's it. See you the next time. And uh, take a look at the different glasses to, to experiment with the different colors that I, I configured. Uh, please uh, leave your suggestions in regards to colors uh, in, in the feedback uh, thread. See you next time.